been the day that we've been waiting for that I feel like probably all of you guys have been waiting for that all of these PCS moving videos have been leading up to today um, so it's so crazy we are in, in Baltimore at BWI um, we are eating some pretzels right now that's why we don't have our mask on and I figured I would go ahead and do like the intro to this video so we made it through um, we made it through TSA we got our boarding passes everything is good to go um, we do have mama with us we don't have Dallas but I will explain that a little bit later in the video probably once we're settled in Italy in our hotel room and I can tell you guys everything um, he is still coming we are still bringing him um, he'll just be flying out today is saturday he flies out tomorrow so but like i said i'll explain all of it um later we have mama she's in her little crate right now she's doing really good um she was pretty vocal i feel like <laughs> the whole way through the airport and then once we got here we've been sitting here for a while i think she's taking a nap right now so she's doing good um I think that's it. It's just, it's so crazy. We are in our final hours of being in the States. When you post this video, we'll be from Italy. Yeah, when you guys yeah. see this, we will officially be in Italy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's really crazy to say. I had been telling Steven, like, it really hadn't hit me yet that we're moving. It just, I don't know, it almost feels like not real, even though I know that it is. But I told him I feel like I'll probably have a panic attack when we're on the flight from Atlanta. I just feel like that's probably when it's yeah, gonna set in. It's definitely gonna happen. Because <laughs> yeah. like right now, I feel like my mind is like, oh, you're just taking another flight, you know, somewhere to another city in the states, like no big deal. So I think once I get on the Atlanta flight, I will probably freak the freak out. So, um, but anyways, I just wanted to come on here, start this video formally, and uh, let's get on to Italy. <laughs> So Stephen and I got off of our flight from Baltimore to Atlanta. We pull up to our next gate and our flight leaving Baltimore was delayed a couple hours. And so it made our connection flight here to Atlanta an even shorter amount of time. And not only that, but with coming to Amsterdam, you have to like, they have to check your PCR test, your rapid test, things like that. So you, ha you can't just go to your gate if you're running late. Like you ha they have to check your documents. So we get in line for them to check our documents and Steven realizes that he doesn't have his wallet. So we start panicking. Basically, long story short, his wallet fell out of his lap somewhere on the aircraft, like our previous flight. He was able to get it back. Um, so right now, I've checked all my documents, I'm good to go, and he is getting checked right now, but you guys, if you could see under my mask right now, like, I'm sweating, he's sweating. 
It, <laughs> this is just so crazy. We are so grateful that he got that back. Jeez. Um, and we're not, it looks like we're not gonna miss our flight, so I mean, that's really good. But oh my gosh, I hope that the rest of our trip smooths out a little bit. But man, I mean, we're definitely going to remember this trip, this first PCS. <laughs> I hope that it gets better from here, but oh my gosh. I know we'll laugh about it maybe like when we get there tomorrow, but right now we're both still like very stressed out about it because that had his military ID, our credit cards, debit cards, um, like um, shop cards, cash, like that had everything. So if he wouldn't have got it back, we wouldn't be leaving for Amsterdam. We wouldn't, I don't know what we would be doing because he would need a new ID, like military ID. So that's just that's insane so um i don't know i'll update you guys when we're on the plane hopefully that's the next clip you see if not then that's gonna be really sad <laughs> all right guys steven made it back we're getting on the plane right now we're the last people to board we made it and that's all that matters <laughs> we're just so excited so this is literally like the start to our adventure we don't know when we're coming back um and it's just i don't know i guess it's the beauty in it kind of yeah. it's like it's scary but it's exciting. wonderful Very at the exciting. same time yeah are we moving yeah oh okay <laughs> are we moving <laughs> and now we're moving so i think the next time i'll see if i can get like some footage here like of maybe steven sleeping or things that, like, i'll get some out the window yeah um but we'll see you guys again when we pitch down in Amsterdam. I can't tell what's wrong or right. Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now. Need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. the last time we vlogged I think the last clip that you guys probably saw was us landing in Venice um, so we landed here in Italy Sunday night and today it is Wednesday. Wednesday and so this is day four of our quarantine and oh I don't even know if I've mentioned that yet we do have to quarantine for two weeks um, they call it ROM which stands for restrict restriction of movement um so we're roaming right now um we can't leave our hotel room except to take out the trash and go take dallas to the bathroom um other than that we are confined <laughs> to these walls yeah. um but everything has gone i feel like pretty smooth so far traveling was a little bumpy <laughs> rocky um do you want to tell them what happened to you <laughs> So, I was wearing sweats on our flight from Baltimore down to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and uh, when we got off the plane, I guess my wallet must have slipped out of my sweats that I was wearing, yeah. and we didn't realize it until we went all the way across the airport, 
got to our next flight and we're actually standing in line to show them the paperwork for our COVID tests. Mm -hmm. And as part of it, I need my ID. And I was like, hey, hey babe, can you get my ID out of my backpack? And she's like, it's not in here. And I was like, it's not my pocket. Um, one of the ladies, she wound up calling the gate that we had come from and um, told them that I lost my wallet. I give them our seat number. They were on the plane. They're like, yep, it's right here. So I dropped my bag and I ran all the way across the Atlanta airport, all the way back to our first gate, and then all the way back again. And when I got back for the uh, to give my paperwork and everything, I was dripping. So it was miserable. He was dripping in sweat, <laughs> and we were the last people to get the on the plane, and they plane. closed <laughs> the gate like right behind us um, because our plane was even delayed getting into Atlanta. So time was not on our side then. It, I'm just happy that like we both made it. We didn't have to yeah. like wait or have a longer layover or anything like that. Um, so that happened in Atlanta on our way to Amsterdam. And then <laughs> in Amsterdam, when we landed, Amsterdam is beautiful and I, we've only seen the airport. Everyone in that airport was so really friendly. Nice. We really want to nice really. go back so bad. Uh, they were just <clears throat> so friendly. The airport was freaking beautiful. Um, I don't know, we just we really want to go back and see that city. Um, but in Amsterdam, we were the last people to get on that <laughs> flight too because yeah. our plane leaving Atlanta was a little delayed as well. So we were the last people there and we had to fill out like a self-declaration form that we didn't have. Um, so it wasn't too bad. There were a couple other Americans that were having to do the same thing. So we weren't alone with that, but yeah, we were the last people on that flight as well. Um, and then, yeah, and then we got to Venice. When we landed in Venice, we <laughs> had a hard time finding the shuttle so because of covid here in italy it's not like the states at all um italy is very strict um with their covid restrictions and everything when they were in they were in red at the moment when we had landed in italy so like our sponsor wasn't able to come and pick us up or anything like that we had to arrange um travel for <laughs> ourselves so we got a shuttle here from the base and when we landed in Italy, it was nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know where to find yeah. it, where to go. Everything is in Italian. Um, yeah, we, we had no idea what we were doing. And then finally, um, after walking around what felt like, I don't know, it was probably like 30 minutes. Yeah, I'd say 30 minutes or so. Um, Steven was like, I'm going to go inside and try to find <laughs> yeah. a phone to call someone because our phones don't work anymore. Like now our phones are out of the country. The airport didn't have any Wi-Fi, So we were literally out of luck. Like we had no idea what to do. And we obviously didn't have like any of the currency, like the money currency. Yeah. Um, it was, it was just crazy. And we had mama and all of our seven luggages. Um, but we, he, he went inside to try to find a phone, like to, see if he could call someone and I stayed outside with all of our luggages and then all of a sudden I like looked to my left and I see a guy like holding the sign for our shuttle and I was like wait <laughs> hi and then he noticed mama I guess like mama was meowing and he like looked over and he knew that there was going to be a small animal on the shuttle so he kind of like came over to me and we were kind of like looking at each other like I think we're for one another um and yeah it turns out he was for us and I was like oh well hold on like my husband went inside to the airport yeah, this, was, this was like maybe a minute or two after I had just walked away yes and obviously I can't text him I can't call him I'm like well I can't leave this spot because this is where he left me so if I leave then we're both gonna be lost without each other yeah um, so what's new and finally came back out, we got the shuttle ride. I think it was like, what, an hour or so? About that. I don't know. I was falling asleep on the shuttle. Yeah. We, you guys, we were exhausted. <laughs> yeah. It was, I think we were traveling for a total of 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Um, it was exhausting. Um, but finally got to our hotel. Um, we got all checked in and our sponsor met us. Um, she, we had given her like a grocery list prior to us arriving so that way when she met us here she could like give us some groceries and we would have food to eat for the first couple days um freaking mm. amazing um so yeah we've been like, getting settled in i will say on our first night was it our first night or our first day what did we trip the breaker Oh, it was our first day here. <laughs> okay, so our first full day here, we were cooking, <laughs> and we tripped to the breaker, <laughs> and we just yep. thought that, like, the power had gone out, because it was raining, so we were like, uh-oh, 
And it, it was crazy. We were only using like the microwave, like two elements on the stove. Uh huh. And I think we had a couple. And lights we had a couple on. lights on, but yeah. I guess in Italy, not that like the power isn't as strong. Like I don't know how, how to say what I'm like thinking. Like in America, you can leave every single light on and use all of your appliances at the same time and Another, nothing will yeah. happen. In Italy, you can only have like one major appliance plugged in and maybe a couple lights on. Or if you're using like two major appliances, all your lights need to be off. Um, and so that, we like looked at each other and we were like, no. <laughs> what just happened? Like, oh my gosh, do we need to call someone? Um, yeah, the breakers aren't the same either. I looked at the breaker and I was like, uh, I'm just gonna start pressing buttons and hopefully something <laughs> happens. And eventually it turned back on, I was like. Yeah, so Ooh. we were like, oh. Okay, like I hope like the other rooms didn't go out because of us. <laughs> um, but so that happened the first night. Um, what else are we getting used to? I think we're getting used to the trash system yeah. here. So here in Italy, oh, yeah, that's weird. they are very big, I guess, on just recycling and just being environmentally friendly. And so they separate like their plastics from their aluminum and glass and paper and food waste. Um, and I think maybe yeah. even a couple other things too. So trying to learn the like recycling system, the trash system has been a challenge. We have trash bags all over our house yeah. for like paper and plastic food. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Oh, the mountains. Oh, the, yeah, mountains, the mountains, you guys. Insane. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, um, our service isn't the best here, so we don't have our Italian phones like set up yet. Um, but so we're just going off of the free Wi-Fi from our room, which can be a little spotty sometimes. So I'm not super active on Instagram right now, but when I can post or when a story does <laughs> upload, um, that's freaking amazing. Yeah. Even though like I posted, I think a story of the mountains the first time that we saw them and it took five hours to upload. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> we're really excited to like get out of Rome so we can get like a better Wi-Fi in our house. But anyways, yeah, if you follow me over on Instagram, I posted a picture of the, I don't even know what mountains they are, but it is a huge snowy mountain here in the center of Aviano or not in the center of Aviano. I guess it's off in the distance. It's like north. I'm not really sure, yeah, but there are really big mountains here in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they're beautiful. We saw them for the first time yesterday when we were taking the trash out and it took my breath away. I've never seen anything like that before. I've never lived anywhere where like. You literally see the snow caps on top of them. Yeah, it's crazy. It's it was insane. Nothing I've ever seen. It went from like snow and then you watched it go like green as it got further down the mountain. Um, it were, truthfully, it reminded me of like the mountain from the Grinch. <laughs> like it's huge. And I don't even think we've seen like the whole mountain yet, but it was freaking beautiful. Um, oh, and an update on Dallas. I don't think we've really talked about this yet. Um, I do plan on doing like an entire video or maybe putting up a question poll for you guys to ask me questions over on instagram but for dallas i want to give you guys an update so for the pet travels i know previously in a couple of videos back we had said that we were going to be able to get dallas and mama both here on our airline like on the same flight that we were on um well that was false we found out two weeks prior to leaving the States that Delta was no longer going to be able to bring Dallas on our flight, which put a really big damper yeah. into our plans because we had called them multiple times. I would say maybe like in well, the beginning, it was probably like... Well, what we did is before we even booked our tickets, we mm -hmm. called their customer service two times to make sure that... Because we already had our flights reserved. We didn't purchase the tickets. We had the flights reserved. Mm -hmm. And we called to make sure that the flights that we had reserved could accommodate Dallas. And we called them twice and we asked them. If it was one week we asked them the questions. Hey, what kind of crate does he need? What measurements? Can it fit? And are you sure? And they're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the very next week, we hadn't purchased our tickets yet. Called, asked the exact same question. Another representative told us, yeah. Because we didn't want to purchase tickets mm -hmm. if that flight, if those planes couldn't accommodate Dallas. Because yep. we wanted him on the plane. So when they both told us, yes, yep. that your flights will accommodate him, we purchased the tickets um, and then and tried to book Dallas's spot. No, and, no. Well, what happened is we purchased the tickets and then when we called, we called again just to make sure, hey, like we purchased our tickets now, are we still good to like get them on there? And they're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, so what do we have to do? 
and they let yeah. us know that in order to get Dallas booked in cargo, um, we have to call 14 days before we fly out. So we even verified that we called I think two different times to verify hey is this true We have to wait 14 days before we leave so we can book Dallas and cargo They said yes both times that was true and, and both times we called we also asked again. Hey, we're on these planes Can they still accommodate his crate? And they so said yeah, we're making sure that all of our stuff is like good to go mm -hmm. um, and then 14 days here we are it's the 14th day two weeks before we fly out we call them to actually book <laughs> Dallas and they tell us no, yeah. <laughs> he could not be on that plane. And you guys, we were pissed. Um, I think pissed would be an understatement. We, it's it's two weeks before we leave from the States and you're telling us that yeah. we no longer can bring our <laughs> animal anymore. It was. It takes a lot to get me mad, but I was yelling at the representative. It takes, I, I was really upset. It was yeah. very disheartening, um, especially that we had done everything in our power double checking, triple checking, doing everything that we could on our side to make sure that it was correct. Um, so in the end, only mama was able to fly with us and she did great. <clears throat> and then Dallas, um, flew out. Let's see. We flew out on a Friday and Dallas flew out the following Sunday. So he was only, no, sorry, we flew out on Saturday. We went to the hotel on Friday. Oh, you're right. Okay, sorry. So we flew out on Saturday. Dallas flew out that next Sunday. Um, and then he just got here last night. So he had a layover, I think, in Frankfurt. So he did make it, but it was not through Delta. We had to use a pet shipping company. And if you guys have any questions on using that, now that I feel like we know everything about it, um, <laughs> yeah. feel free to ask us any questions. But I do still plan on making a how-to PCS with pets overseas video. Um, so if you guys have any questions specifically about that, either leave those down in the comments below or you can always message me over on Instagram. But yeah, that's kind of the thing with him. Um, and probably in that video I can go into like pricing and what you can expect if you have to ship your pet through a shipper because it is significantly more expensive than getting them booked on your flight. Um, but we got him here. Ain't that right, Yes, he's here now. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good boy. Yeah, we got you here. We got him here. So he's here. Mama's is here. Mama, come here. Where'd she go? She's yeah, she's probably on the ledge. Stop it. Um, but anyways, you guys, my camera is about to die. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this travel vlog. If you guys have any more questions, um, just leave them down in the comments. And if you guys want to see a room tour, kind of like our hotel room tour, leave a comment down below letting me know. Um, we are just so excited to be here and we are so excited for you guys to be on this journey with us. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.